Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters for the perfect guidance, perfect clarity, and perfect peace that's here for all of us right now and for each of us right now. Thank you to the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides, and guardian angels. We thank you for this opportunity, for mastery, for a fresh perspective, and for um, a really positive revision to old stories. If we could just take in a breath. If we could extract the word monster from your life entirely, anything from childhood, anything from these movies that we think we should watch and we shouldn't, anything that we perceive as a monster, any sense of abuse, any experience of harm, if we could let anything that goes under that title, any person that goes under that title and letting that energy be vacated from your life. And if we could take to heart the word angel. And if we could just breathe in and if we could simply say out loud, I am surrounded by angels. Thank you angels for being strong and present with me. Wonderful. We could take in a breath. If we could break in half like snapping a twig, the idea that for every good there's a bad, for every bad there's a good, let's release that, that equation. And very simply, welcome good, followed by good, followed by good, followed by good, followed by good. If we could just breathe into there being only good. So if we can notice in those um, three things right at the top here, let's very simply notice that instantly creating more calm, more cohesion, and more peace. And if we could let with that, there being a redefinition like changing the locks, like entering a new room. So let's just breathe into all that and letting all those different activities, letting all those dynamics bring greater peace, greater love and greater joy to this moment right now. So we'll just breathe in. And if we can indeed focus on the angels, and if we could let that focus be very specific to allowing the angels to be completely present and moving our experience away from a concept, from them being an idea into them being a reality. So if we could just breathe in, and we use words to help us out, if we could very simply just say out loud, thank you angels for being with me right now. I surrender all problems to you, personal, national, and global. Thank you for helping me in every part of my life. Wonderful. If we could just take in a breath. And if we could notice any sense of um, the angels feeling like there's a filter between you and the angels, let's release that filter and just feel this sense of presence, touch, connection on all levels. If we could just very simply just breathe into all that. So with the filters, released, let's very simply feel Archangel Michael coming forward to very simply protect you in all ways. Archangel Raphael to establish a new sense of health through the lens of calm. So if we could just breathe in letting an instant experience of calm come forward. So two things at once, calm that you are familiar with and also calm being brought to you. So Archangel Raphael bringing you the energy of calm and letting that be physical, emotional, physical calm, emotional calm, mental calm, energetic calm. And if we could feel that calm being like a blanket, 
And with that blanket, the way you could hide when you're a kid under a blanket, so being both very visible and able to um, be invisible too in positive ways. So if we could just breathe into that. Like an old fashioned telephone operator, switchboard operator, if we could let Archangel um, Gabriel refresh all of your relationships and all of your connections. So we'll just breathe into that and letting that be so, those connections being refreshed. So just notice some connections being unplugged, someone being replugged in, some being enhanced. We could just breathe into that clarity, that discernment. And if we could once again take in a breath, and let's very simply say out loud in a steady, adult, steady adult voice, I choose to be calm right now. I welcome healing right now. I am safe right now. We're going to say two things and the, the wording will be different with different intentions. I'm under angelic care right now. I'm experiencing angelic care right now. Wonderful. If we could just breathe into all that. And if we could let the multitude of angels that surround you, some have been named and given certain tasks or announced their tasks. If we could very simply notice other angels taking action also. And if we could let this collection of angels uniformly stand between you and anything that feels like opposition, standing between you and anything that feels like a threat. And standing between you and anything or any dynamic, anybody, in which you might consciously or unconsciously be giving power away to. And in the angel standing in that space, they're very simply giving your power back, reflecting your power back to you. So if we could just take in a breath. And whatever it means to know that you are the hero and that we have help, you are part of the team and you're part of the angels team so if we could just take under breath and let there be perhaps an, with an uplifting movement in your, um, in your chest, moving up to your heart and into um, your throat, if we could feel the sense of belonging, the sense of care, and the activation of courage. And if we can notice courage does not put you in danger. If we could just breathe into all those different dynamics, the centerpiece of all this being calm, Okay, and if we can notice with any fatigue that is happening, um, let's let these actions to not let threats, opposition, or giving power away exist anymore. If we could feel energy circulating perfectly within you and the angels giving you, infusing you with more energy. So if we could just breathe into that. So releasing any energy, siphoning off. And if we could, with that um, energy moving, if we could let it move vertically, which can include grounding, if we could just breathe into all that. <laughs> Wonderful. So we'll just take in our breath. So we'll notice you surrounded by mul a multitude of angels. You being right where you are. We're releasing opposition. We're releasing the specters of the past, including childhood, and recognizing the cohesion, the clarity, the peace that is here right now.
Wonderful. If we can notice like at a wedding um, and someone makes a speech and they tap a glass, let's let Archangel Michael tap a glass and make a speech. If we could just take in a breath. and to speak with or for Archangel Michael, if we can notice his advocacy in this moment for your worth, how much you are loved by him and all the angels, an enormous amount of love showered toward you. If we could let that love be physical right now and coming from Archangel Michael to you, and to feel this sense of that energy, that love being like a shower. And this may not be true for everyone. Let's just notice any experience that might've happened today or the last several days where you feel worn out or worn down. Let's let Michael reverse that. Let's let him very simply remove, this might include agitation, remove the energy of other people, including figures from the media, figures that are talked about a lot and letting that energy be cleansed off of you. And to let Archangel Michael help you be you again. So anything that feels like a disappointment, a block, helplessness, hopelessness, let's let those energies be refunneled into a space of there's more to ask for that we could notice the nose and raise our intention until it matches who we actually are. So if we could just breathe in to the space of upliftment and advancement. So we'll just breathe into that. If we could notice along with that, what it's like for you to just breathe in and as your conscious self to notice whether you see them, feel them, hear them, or know them, to notice Archangel Michael, to notice Archangel Gabriel and the switchboard, to notice Archangel Raphael, healing, to, not to notice the upliftment in your heart. Let's just take in a breath. And we'll very simply notice all of this And indeed, if we can come back to the fatigue, and if we could just lovingly notice anything that is an energy drain or could be perceived as an energy drain, if we could notice all of that being released from you. So there's only energy moving, circulating within you, coming from the angels and coming from your own receptivity of love. Wonderful. So um, what Michael is saying is that it feels like we might have four different balls in the air right now. He'd like to make it one ball and that one ball might look like you are loved. You are so loved. If we could just breathe into that fact, breathe into that energy and feel that nourishing your cells, feel that nourishing your organs, feel that refreshing your nervous system feeling your intuition sparkling, radiance, okay, wonderful. If we could just breathe in. Um, what he'd like to do, he, so he's aware of the context of this moment right now, of what we're doing. He'd like to interrupt what we're doing and let the contact be just simply you and him, you and Archangel Michael. So just take a breath. And whatever it means to align yourself with Archangel Michael and just feel him focused entirely on you. And he could be with all of us at once. If we could just breathe in. And we'll give the space of you and Archangel Michael like two minutes. So if we could just breathe in 
and notice him and you. Wonderful, let's take in a breath. And let's simply say out loud, Archangel Michael, thank you. And we'll notice him continuing his work to use a car metaphor. Let's let him give you an oil change. And so the things that have, that have felt oppressive, that have not felt good, let's let him drain those out like old oil. Let's let any agitation, any hurt, any harm drain out, any sense of hopelessness drain out. Wonderful. And let's let um, Archangel Michael refill the car with fresh oil. Let's let Archangel Michael also, along with Archangel Uriel, fill you with um, fresh gold light, which might be liquid or might just be light. If we could just breathe in and feel your entire being, mind, body, spirit, emotion, being filled with fresh light, fresh gold light. And as this happens, if we could just truly feel a non-negotiable space of love of the angels toward you. They love you enormously, they love you entirely. That no matter what is happening, no matter what isn't happening, no matter what happened today or didn't happen today, no matter what feels disappointing or feels frustrating, that you are loved. So if we could just breathe into that love. And if we could notice, we often breathe in like it's our very first breath. If we could just take a moment to notice what it's like to receive love like it's the very first time. become very present to the act of receiving love, for the space of receiving love.
And let's do that again. Let's indeed just breathe in like it's our very first breath. And let's receive love like it's the very first time. And if we could extend that to having everything be fresh, if we could let our nervous system be fresh and feel our atmosphere like it's the first time, if we could notice our atmosphere of the last 20 minutes or so has been curated. So if we could just breathe into really fresh, good energy, just breathing into the energy of love. And in that space of fresh love and our perception of this love being fresh, let's very simply notice the angels being your heroes, your guardians, and them holding space for you without tension, but with love. So if we could breathe into being cared for, being celebrated, and being enlisted to being our highest possible self, to be encouraged to be our highest possible self. So acknowledging that yes, we're in a space of time, a period of time in human history where there's a lot going on and it's intense. If we could notice our ability to navigate that with spiritual skill and savvy and wisdom and to add to that angelic care, the care of angels, goddesses, guides, masters, and loved ones. It's a lot of help. So if we could just breathe in and feel all of this being magical and perfect, there being an effortlessness to all of this, Michael's analogy for this moment is it's not like going to the grocery store and having to pick out the items like they arrive perfectly. So love arrives perfectly. Security arrives perfectly and fully present. Health perfectly arrives. Peace of mind, calm, faith, courage, confidence, certainty belonging, enthusiasm, serenity, healthy energy, peace of mind, connection, steadiness. All these things are right here. So let us breathe into all that. And if you could notice Archangel Michael and his baseball analogy is, is everything you've just done is like hitting a home run. So if we could breathe in to this sense of achievement, that changing energy is an accomplishment being still is an accomplishment. Connecting with angels is an accomplishment. If we could just breathe into those things that you've just done and are doing. So just lovingly breathe into all that. Wonderful. And if we can notice Archangel Michael and the other angels that surround you, perhaps 20 of them, including your favorites, if we could notice their offer to escort you through the rest of your day, the rest of your evening, and escorting you into dream time tonight, and escorting you into tomorrow and the rest of your life, if we could just take in a breath. 
and with charm and a hint of formality, if we could very simply say in response to that offer, yes. Thank you. And with the 1920s flair, we'll say, how delightful. Wonderful, we could just breathe into this and feel the sense of continuity and continuation. Knowing that we'll conclude here and this will keep going. And to all the angels, including Archangel Michael, we'll very simply say out loud, thank you so much. And thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters for the perfect clarity, perfect love and perfect peace that's here for all of us right now. Thank you to the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides, and guardian angels. We thank you for this moment right now, this moment of clarity, this moment of opportunity, and everything being new. We feel the refreshment of this time and the promise of more connection, of ease the rest of this day, this evening, ease in sleep and feeling confidence in all the love that's here for us. We recognize that it's safe for us to put aside and to put away fear. It's safe for us to feel confident and it's safe for us to release the idea that we must hold something in front of us to prevent it from harming us. We could very simply let the angels stand between us and harm and trust that that dynamic works. That it, we don't need to keep calling forward what we're afraid of. It's safe for us to advance to a different vibration and to encounter the angels without filters and to trust that they are right here for us in every single moment and we have ourselves too. And with generosity, peace and love, we quite simply and lovingly ask for this or something better right now in all directions of time. And so it is.